Hello and welcome back to The Top Shelf. Uh, this is my uh, literary editions, uh, which is basically a bunch of uh, books on my top shelf that I'll be uh, looking at, um, giving you a short synopsis, uh, a review if I've read it, and giving you a reason why I purchased the book, uh, mainly just so you know what my interests are like. Um, my name is Ernest Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Rapo filmmaker, artist, writer, and media educator. Uh, which brings me to my next book. Uh, this next book we're going to talk about. Uh, Neil Postman's uh, Amusing Ourselves to Death, Public Discourse in the Age of Show Business. Uh, this was written a while ago uh, when television was the dominant medium. Um, let me see if I can get a year for you here. 1985. Yeah, so 15 years ago. So much technology has changed. Um, I also have the updated version, which is the 10th anniversary edition, or the 20th anniversary edition. So 25 years ago. That's a long time ago. 85 to... Man, I'm bad at math. It's 35 years ago. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm interested in this is because this, uh, among many other things... Uh, set me off on a path of media literacy and media education, especially surrounding the representations of Native Americans. But this one is really uh, one of the books that really opened the door towards uh, critical thought in assessing how media influences people. And I actually first encountered this in a culture, race, and media course at, in film school. Uh, shout out to Bo. Um, and I sort of won it as a drawing at the end of the class because she was giving away books and um, I got this one because I was so interested in it. But reading it, I uh, realized um, how prescient it is, even today, in our internet age and high-speed data transference and all that. Um, and as you can see, it's an older edition, and if you look through it, it's all marked up and underlined. And I gave this a, as a gift to my little girl, um, the copy that you just saw, and uh, she read it through, and she said, wow, it's a, re a really cynical read. I can see why you're so cynical about media. And I didn't think it, uh, it was supposed to be considered humorous and a bit cynical, I suppose, but when I was reading it, uh, the issues he, um, Neil Postman, uh, brings up are so prescient, and um, that I didn't read it as cynical or very funny. It's just like providing information. Um, his uh, Neil Postman is a media critic and educator um, who is sort of against the technology of t television because uh, he felt it reduced a lot of our um, venerated uh, educational structures into banal media, er, banal forms of entertainment. And one of the examples he gives is. Um, the guests on The Tonight Show, and um, also, uh, in a way, Sesame Street, how Sesame Street took this venerated form of learning and turned it into entertainment. So uh, while I'm sure children can learn from it, but that becomes the expectation for education, is that education suddenly has to be entertaining. And as you can see in our current television landscape, the Learning Channel, the Science Channel, the Discovery Channel, National Geographic, all these channels dedicated to, that are supposed to be dedicated to education and learning have all just evolved into these reality shows. Um, so what he was saying was pretty important. Uh, I would recommend this uh, to anyone who's interested in media critique. Uh, it is uh, very prescient. I was making notes on how this connects to our world today. And um, if you do get it, it is available in a newer print, and which looks like this. So uh, go out and get it if you're interested in media critique. Um, that's it. This is uh, our book for the week, or for, for the episode, Amusing Ourselves to Death, uh, by Neil Postman. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.